the energy density of batteries can be displayed in two different ways gravimetric energy density and volumetric energy density. The gravimetric energy density is the measure of how much energy a battery contains in proportion to its weight. This measurement is typically presented in watt hours per kilogram. The volumetric energy density, on the other hand, is compared to its volume and is usually expressed in watt hours per liter. Generally, when we refer to battery energy density as weight energy density and watt hour as a measure of electrical energy, equivalent to one hour, one watt of consumption. In contrast, the power density of a battery is a measure of how fast energy can be delivered, not how much stored energy is available. Energy density is often confused with power density, so it is important to understand the differences between the two. The energy density of a battery can be simply calculated using this formula. Nominal battery voltage times rated battery capacity divided by battery weight equals specific energy or energy density. Generally speaking, lithium cobalt batteries have an energy density of 150 to 270 watt hours per kilogram. Their cathode is made up of a cobalt oxide and the typical carbon anode with a layered structure that moves lithium ions from anode to cathode and back. This battery is popular for its high energy density and it's typically used in consumer products such as cell phones and laptops. Lithium phosphate batteries, on the other hand, have an energy density of 100 to 120 watt hours per kilogram. Although this is lower than lithium cobalt batteries, it is still considered higher in the rechargeable battery category. Lithium phosphate batteries use iron phosphate for the cathode and a graphite electrode combined with a metallic backing for the anode. They are ideal for heavy equipment and industrial applications because of their better ability to withstand high and low temperatures. As far as the single cell is concerned, the positive and negative materials and production process of the battery will affect the energy density. So it is necessary to develop more reasonable materials and better manufacturing technology to obtain a more efficient battery. Graypound not only produces both lithium cobalt and lithium phosphate batteries, but we also manufacture semi-solid batteries with a high energy density of 275 to 300 watt hours per kilogram, which is higher than the two previous mentioned batteries and a 15% weight reduction compared to ordinary batteries of the same capacity. These will be the go-to choice for models that require lower weight and longer endurance. Well, that's all for today. If you have any questions about today's topic or have any battery related things that you want to know, contact us by email at info at Until then, my name is Zach and thank you for watching.